Hi everyone, uh, my name is Larissa and my marketing research project is on the Comscore final project. And let me click here so we can see it. Uh, category ID is 55 and it's going to be based on the party supply industry. Okay, so what the the entire point of this whole present presentation, it was structured so that it meets the criteria in terms of uh, I'm going to be first talking about the exe executive summary, why am I doing this, the hypothesis, and the numerous ones that I've um, I've kind of had those educated guesses towards the approach that how the method and from which we're doing the you know in terms of the what kind of I would say methods we use. Uh, analysis of those findings and the results and also the you know what this what does this all lead to type of thing where it goes over the main findings and information and um, again this is going to be regarding the party favors and this is the full scope of what I'm going to be doing Prezi here and um, so my executive basically whereas it's a general situation if a company had to start and and then also have connections to party suppliers as if they were um, inventories would starting an online business be worth it being the low um, expense rate and everything like that and so between the online businesses you'd be researching internet sales and internet consumers within the party supply industry um, research and analysis allows for deciding whether the entering the market is worth the investment and developing better marketing strategies that can position yourself for market growth. The file that I have is the party.sav file based off of Comscore. And um, the research hypothesis that uh, I've accumulated were the H1, uh, hypothesis 1, which is the average party supply purchase is $20, which I, one of my um, Educators. Hypothesis two: Larger families will have a tendency to spend more money on party supplies. Hypothesis three: Family size will affect basic total. Hypothesis four: Consumers at the age of late 30s and early 40s will like will be more likely to purchase more party supplies due to their young children. All right. So the approach that we have here is the analysis of search and purchase behavior across U.S. based online retailers and um, so the characteristics of the browsers will do their cat uh, whereas the party music industry and everything uh, consumer specific factors would be studying demographics uh, that impacts online purchasing behavior categorical specific factors would be households and another example would be old age and household analysis restricted would be just towards the um, the file that was given and just being that there was software memory restrictions between the computer and everything like that. And the program that we were using was the uh, SPSS Stats 17.0 student version based on those Comscore data sets. We will be using empirical uh, methodology and uh, again the Comscore tracks uh, a consumer behavior which would be specifically e-commerce and here are the statistics and analysis from each so for the hypothesis one it would be the characteristics of party supply purchases so um, I guess that it would have been $20 uh, the average purchase price product total price and so disregarding discounts and everything like that and using this descriptive statistics with the product total price you can see that it's $12.79 you can always also notice that the maximum purchase was $169. I'm not sure who would necessarily spend $169, but you never know. For the next one, <clears throat> which was the frequency analysis, uh, would be based off of hypothesis two, which would kind of entail how many children are present during these party supply transactions. And here we would notice the majority of those families who have one child or more are likely to buy party supplies and that of no children. And that kind of goes along with my previous hypothesis. More children, more birthday parties, and so forth. And they like all that, you know, the party favors and things like that.
Okay. For correlation, um, is going to be based on hypothesis three, which is between the variables household size and basket total. And just kind of asking yourself, is there a relevance between one variable and another? In this specific case, uh, you can see that the significant two tails and the household size, the whole, yeah, household size and basket total, you'll see that the they are zero, which is less than 0 0.05, uh, which is great. Um, <clears throat> being that there is a significance between household size and basket total, kind of further saying that if household size changes, there is a possibility the bas basket total will also change. And uh, the comparison relates to the larger household size, the larger the basket total can become. And also shows us that there's a negative relationship between basket total and household size due to the zero significance. The next um, analysis would be the cross tabulation, which you can kind of see with a uh, hypothesis for is do the middle aged population actually do spend more on party supplies? My rationale for that was just being that uh, that age kind of accounts for. Um, I would say, whereas the children are still young and still having birthday parties. So that's why they would be spending more money. Um, as you can see here, I'd had to kind of copy paste a few uh, images, whereas there had been a lot of uh, retail online retailers within this uh, domain names here. And I would have, and I just kind of removed the ones that were insignificant to this particular cross tabulation and kept the Oriental Trading, which was highlighted as the largest, and the Yahoo.net, which is the second, and also the total. So you can see how many of each, really. Um, also notice that the fifth, the column five, was the most, uh, which was of 218 within the total, and 182 between Oriental Trading. And so five is actually signified as the greatest uh, kind of quantity between the oldest age, which is ages of between 35 and 39. And that does uh, prove the hypothesis. Okay. Uh, for my next, uh, which was the mean analysis, the independent variable was household size and the dependent variable was product quantity. So this kind of went over the comparison between two means. And this would go over hypothesis, I think it was hypothesis three, yes, where it kind of explains the household size in relation to the basket total price. Let me go back here. And, but instead of household total price, it was household product quantity, I meant. And it also showed that the fifth did produce the most, which is 2.05, which was the more, you know, the more, more than one within the family, you'd say the average number is greater um, between the five and six and four than as related to the one person within the family household size. The highest mean proves to be five as stated in the cross tabulation, but within a different type of um, area. Okay, and so all of these kind of encompass the overall basis for this situation. Whereas I originally stated, the situation was if someone, if someone had ties to the party supply industry, well, had ties to uh, suppliers within the party supplies industry, and wanted to start a business, would it be worth it for them to start an online niched business? Okay, and so for based all of all of these analysis on these general hypotheses, the pros would be that we've analyzed the demographics in order to reach a larger sales market. If the decision has been made to enter the market, they would have enough information to determine a target market in specifics. One major con and what I would highly suggest is that as the majority of the findings have been shown within all of those statistics was that the party supply uh, industry has shown to be an oligopoly, which is comprised of a few dominated companies within this niched industry, which was 
uh, which stood out a lot was the oriental trading. So you have to make sure that it's it's kind of like a McDonald's or a Burger King within the fast food industry. They are powerhouses, and you know they're going to be there for a while. So for you to start very small and mini school, not have enough funding as these big you know guys it'd be tough to kind of enter the market and stay stabilized with an oligopoly such as this one all right so moving along to all of these other types of things just kind of brushing over the research hypothesis so again for the hypothesis one I kind of, um, I overshot it by about $8, um, which was actually $12 and some change. For larger families, for hypothesis two, uh, it does show a tendency to spend more money with more with larger families. Uh, family size will affect the basket total in particular. <clears throat> and for hypothesis four, consumers at the age of late 30s to early 40s will be more likely to purchase more party supplies due to their young children. So that does prove correct. And um, you know, for the majority of the sake, the hypothesis were correct. And um, you know, if you do have any questions, let me know. All right, and so that was my main findings and information. Um, for sources was pretty much the party.sav file and the product category ID was 55. And um, I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Take care.